The search continues as we speak for two people who state police say opened fire on a crowd of innocent people on Saturday. It happened in Dumas at a car show, an event associated with promoting nonviolence. 27 people were injured and one person was killed in what many are now calling one of the worst mass shootings in Arkansas history. And since that all went down, we've heard from several of the injured, but tonight we're putting the spotlight on those who were busy working behind the scenes, saving the lives of those who were shot. Our Katrin Asaf stopped by Delta Memorial Hospital to speak with those working Saturday. She's there live now. Katrin, what was the initial reaction just to the number of people, patients that were coming in that night? Well, Donna, Kevin, nurses tell me that really it was just unbelievable. One person said it even seemed almost like a movie. Nurses say that many had never experienced something like this, and most didn't believe something like this could happen in Dumas. But among the chaos, healthcare workers say they did what they do best, which is care for their patients and try and save their lives. The chief nursing officer here tells me that the first patient came in around 6.50 Saturday night and soon after came a flood of shooting victims and their families. Nurses and doctors who were off the clock had to be called in from around town, but even those from outside Dumas, first responders who were at the picnic and those from neighboring areas came to the hospital to help any way they could. Dana Miles says even in the midst of tragedy, the response from health care workers was awe-inspiring. It didn't matter uh, what color, what gender, it didn't matter. Everyone came together and worked like a family and took care of each other like a family. She adds Arkansas's trauma comm system kicked in, which allowed helicopters and ambulances to head to Dumas from across the state. And with doctors on standby in places like Little Rock, she says it seemed like the whole state was pitching in to help. Now that the chaos is over, she says she's incredibly proud of the response from this festa, uh, excuse me, this hospital, as well as those in surrounding areas who came to help out. She also says triage was so um, quick and coherent that they were able to transfer everyone out of the hospital, or rather out of the ER, and sending patients home that could go home, that everything was clear by 9.30 that night. Reporting in Dumas, Katrin Asaf, back to you.